so yeah, treat it as a, like how we test the car every day. Uh, we keep the environment as serial as possible. So now the car is stopping for the intersection. Uh, once it determines it's safe, uh, we'll go. And right in front here, we have a parked car. Uh, try to see how the car reacts to this parked car. So, we'll let the car turn the wheels. This is the nicest one. <laughs> yeah, it's the nicest one so far. We have a couple of good ones. So, we're doing the crossing. Here, we're just cruising along at 30 km per hour. front here we have a traffic light so uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, we are stopping very abruptly for the bicycle yeah. so this is green so let's see if we will hit the yellow light which normally it is yeah so the yellow light and then the, the car stop by itself yeah so now here's the long wait for the green <laughs> Sure. What types of things does it have a hard time predicting? Um, right now it is, um, well, it's just, it's actually like there are so many things occluded from our view. So we try to uh, have a sensor that surrounding us uh, and detect it. And um, I think predicting what the other people or, or cars are doing is quite challenging. So when you are human, right? You just, when you when you tell the other car to go first, you just wave, yeah. but the car doesn't understand right. that kind of yeah. gesture. So predicting the intent of the other car is quite a big challenge for us. So here is something new on the cones area. Let's see how well you handle so this will be very abrupt because yeah. we see many cones and we can't really spread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will go. Right, hope you have fun. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.